Hey, what's going on boys and girls club? Coach Mohar back with a health and awareness triple play body physical activity from the boys and girls club of Cumming Elementary School. So in today's physical activity, what I'm gonna be teaching you, something everyone can do, very easy comparatively to other physical things that look cool. So cartwheels. As you know, this cartwheel going side to side. I'm gonna be teaching you how. So in order to first do a cartwheel, of course you're gonna need flat ground. So looking around, you can see this is a fairly flat surface. You should probably practice on a soft surface as well. So no cement or anything, just grass, something that I'm practicing on. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna see if you're left-handed or right-handed. So if you're left-handed, you're going to want to start on your left hand. Whereas if you're right-handed, you're going to want to start going to your right. So in order to first do a cartwheel, you have to have a lot of momentum going into it. You can't just kind of creak into it, sneak into it going slow. You have to really kind of jump into it. But instead of jumping, it's almost like a crouch. So when you go down, it's similar to going into a handstand, except you're doing it sideways. So you see when I do a handstand, in order to go into the handstand, I'm not jumping or crouching into it, but instead I'm putting my hands down and throwing my feet up. It's similar to a cartwheel. You're putting your hands down and then you're throwing your foot up. And when your foot is being thrown up, that momentum will carry the cartwheel, allowing your whole body to turn all the way back over so that you can land on your feet. And so, of course, you can get creative with it, doing multiple cartwheels in a row or even changing directions. And then you can start looking even more like a gymnast by incorporating some kind of flips or any kind of tricks into it. So even just going from sideways to landing forward or backwards. When you're going through the cartwheel motion, you want to make sure your body is sort of in an X, but another way is you can make sure you're kind of like a toothpick while your legs are out. So when you're upside down, you're going to look like a Y. Well, everyone, good luck doing cartwheels. That's my tutorial. I hope to see you all doing cartwheels very soon. Thank you all so very much and have a great day.